today I'm going to teach you how to create your WordPress account that will serve as your online portfolio. Now, just go to wordpress.com and then you will be directed dito sa mismong site. Okay? So, dito, just click on get started. And then, please enter your active email address. Okay, so in my case, I am going to use the email for this wave. And then, for the username, just choose anything na madaling tandaan. Anything naman sa username, kaya yung bahala dito. And then, just choose a password. Please click on create your account. So, here, may kita nyo dito, what kind of site are you building? So, in this case, just choose blog. Pwede rin naman to, but um, for this one, mas marami kasi tayong uh, pwede nang gawin. Dito papasok yung inyong articles and other creations and your uh, portfolio as well. So, what is your blog about? Now, please choose a category that you will be comfortable in creating articles. Okay? Um, kahit anong category, that's okay. So, in my case, I'm just going to choose coaching. Again, kahit anong category po. Okay? Basta yung uh, kaya yung gawan ng content every now and then. Coaching. So, after that, click on continue. And then, tell us your blog's name. So, here, I suggest that you make it professional. Usually, um, pinapalagay ko is for example... Just the nickname of the trainee. So, halimbawa, in my case, Isa. Pero, um, huwag niyo itong gayahin. I just choose something professional. So, ito na lang. And then, just click on continue. So, ito, give your blog an address. Uh, be careful of this one kasi uh, hindi nyo na itong mapapalitan. Okay? When you're in the blog address already. So, let's see. And then, wait for it. And then, marami. Ayan siya. So, just remember, guys, to choose free. Okay? Free. Wala na kayo ibang pipiliin. Ito lang free. Then, click on select. Don't mind this, pero explain ko na rin. So, ito, pagka-personal use, yung, ito yung price niya, premium for business, and then this is for e-commerce. But don't mind this, unless you want to upgrade. Pwede nyo naman gawin later on. Let's just click this one. Start with the free site. So now, your site has been created, pero hindi pa siya nalo launch. So in order for us to do that, we have to confirm the email address that we used. Dito kay WordPress. Okay? So just go to your Gmail account. You will see this notification. And then, just click here to confirm now. Okay, so once na na-confirm na, I will just close this Gmail. And then, just close this one. Punta ko dito sa original tab ko. And then, re-refresh ko lang. Okay. So now na na-confirm na natin yung email, 
this one, ito, click on or right click. Okay, so again, right click and open link in new tab. And click on launch site. Okay. So, ito na naman. Give your site an address. Don't enter anything. Kundi, punta lang kayo sa skip purchase. You will see this again. Don't mind this. And then, just continue with your free site. So, as you can see, nawala na yung private. And then, let's just close this one. Yan, wala na siya. It means your uh, site is already active. Okay? Now, yung sunod natin gagawin is changing the theme of your WordPress. So, punta kayo dito kay design. And then, click on customize. Ay, sorry, mali. Teka. Not yet. Sige. Uh, click nyo lang to. Paki-X, please. X. And then, click on Themes. Okay? So, again, ulitin ko. Design. And then, Themes. Ayan. So, may kita nyo yung mga iba-ibang klaseng themes na pwede nyo gamitin. So, punta lang kayo dito. Show all themes. And then, Please po, pakipili itong free. Free. Ayan. So, in this case, let's choose a theme for our WordPress account. Pili lang kayo dyan kahit alin. Okay. So, ito na lang gagamitin ko. Just click on this one. Info. And then, activate this design free. After that, just click on Customize Site. And then, ito na siya. Okay, so may yung ganyan. Next is, magdadagdag tayo ng menus. Okay, click on Menus. Ito. After clicking Customize ha, yung Customize Site, nandito, ito yung mapupuntahan nyo. Menus. Click on primary. Kung walang primary, alam ba, hindi nyo ito makita. Tapos kung ano na lang nandyan. Okay, kasi minsan depende siya sa team. Okay? So again, liting ko, menus, primary. And then, itong menu location, kung ilan yung nandito, ito, check na lang. Okay, kung ilan man yung nandyan. Okay, para lumabas siya dun. Next, click on add items. And then, dito sa part na to, sa add new page, please type in portfolio. Click on add. So, dapat lalabas siya dun. And then, my projects or projects okay, projects na lang click on add and then after that please click on publish so dapat guys na check nyo yung mga uh, tick box dito, kung ilan man yan, except sa menu options, eto, ito lang. And then, dapat apat siya. The home, the blog feed, portfolio, and projects. Kailangan nalabas yan. Click on X. And then, after that, click on tools. Sorry, not tools. Click on manage. 
and then click on settings. Okay, so this is my site title and then enter a site tag tagline. So, maybe a quote about your category. And then let's change the site icon. Okay. Change. Click on change. And then add new. You can choose any, ano, any photo but professional. So in my case, I'm just going to use the Elevate official logo. Click on open. Just wait for it to load. And so once done, may check na. Click on continue. And then click on done. So just to be sure, just click on save settings. Yeah. So para na siyang site icon. Ayun guys, punta po kayo dito. Huwag yung pindutin. Right click. Okay, please right click. Open link in new tab. Punta po kayo doon. Ayan, may site icon na siya. Punta po kayo doon. And then copy this one. Control C. And then, pakisend po sa ating training room. So, Control V. And then, send. Okay, so for now, uh, yun kung ano yung nakita yun dito sa video, dapat yun din yung may kita ko as your homework. Okay, so remember, home, blog feed, portfolio, and projects. And then, send po natin dito sa chat box natin. Okay? So that's it for now, and then I'll see you tonight. Okay? Bye-bye!